Davis Bridal is the latest retailer in the news over their financial issues. The company filed bankruptcy just days after announcing plans to lay off more than 9,000 workers nationwide this year. The company, based out of Pennsylvania, is trying to find a buyer that they can sell the business to after filing Chapter 11, reporting $257 million in debt. Davis Bridal CEO says pandemic challenges and uncertain economic conditions is the cause of all of their troubles. The company has been around for over 70 years, founded in 1950. Davis Bridal sells mostly wedding dresses and prom gowns across 294 stores in the US, Canada, and the UK. This company is a big deal in the wedding business as 25% of brides get their wedding dresses from the company. So Davis Bridal, a company that's been around since the 1950s, over 70 years, is going out of business or currently in debt for $257 million and has plans to lay off 9,000 additional employees by the end of the year. And the CEO says that the pandemic and uncertain economic challenges are the reason for why this company is going bankrupt. So really, is that why? In this video presentation, we're going to discuss the reasons why nobody is trying to break bread with David. Singer and actor Tyrese has been ordered to pay out 636 k for child support and lawyer fees, 250 k to his ex-wife Samantha Lee in back child support, and almost 400 k to her attorney. Tyrese has been paying child support all alone, only 2236 per month, as opposed to the court-ordered amount of 10 k per month. Tyrese was not happy with the order, so he took to social media to blast the judge. In a video he shared on Instagram with his roughly 16.6 million followers, he called for a peaceful protest in front of the courthouse. But the protest against prejudice toward fathers in the family court system apparently never happened. He feels the 10K is excessive. He claims Samantha doesn't need that much because she makes good money on her own. Is 10K too much? Is it just enough? Does she need more? What do you think? So let's get this straight. Marrying the wrong bitch in the USA will lead you down the path of inheriting a bill of $636,000. And of that $636,000, almost $400,000 goes to her lawyers, not yours. What sort of intelligent man with common sense would ever sign up for such a shitty fucking deal? Well, there you go, Davis Bridal. There's your answer. Getting married in the United States of America is a shitty deal for men. $636,000 of a man's hard-earned income has to be given to someone else? What the fuck? This exorbitant price is beyond excessive. At this point, this is financial extortion. Here's the real question, y'all. As a society, how did we get here? And why do so many men still choose to get married in the USA knowing that they risk losing everything? What about your job? What happened to men who were supposed to be responsible? Do you know that it's our job to take care of a woman and some children? Don't take my baby. I'm at $13,000 a month. What more do you want from me? <laughs> Your money. As you already know, Tyrese Gibson, they want your money, nothing else. They don't care about you and your relationship with your children. You're a man, they want your money. But my question still remains, why do men still choose to get married in the USA knowing that the family court systems are designed to take your money? See, these dudes kill me. That's what's wrong with this generation today. These young boys today, what do she bring to the table? The hell you mean, man? What do your ass bring to the table? You got a woman that can come to the table that can make another you. What else she need to slide up to the table with? And there's the answer. The OGs of the community are supposed to be teaching the young men of how to vet a spouse for marriage, right? But this dude up here telling men that women only got to show up with their wombs and their uteruses because they are the ones who are going to birth children for the next generation. But he said nothing about integrity or their internal value that they should have as a person that will 
make them a quality companion in any matrimony or life. But I digress. When some of us, quite frankly, feel that the men that are available to us, and I'm talking about across the color spectrum, across the age spectrum, trust me, I've done them all. And I'm talking about across the color spectrum, across the age spectrum, trust me, I've done them all. Trust me, I've done them all. Check it out, baby. You stuck in the bin zone. No quality man is checking for you because you done them all. We're done with sluts. They are not positioned to protect nor provide because of some of the statistics we just talked about. They're not earning the incomes. They're not having the resources. And some of them are not even showing up in the leadership. Would you date a bus driver? You. Would you date if a bus If he owns the bus. If he owns no. it. If he owns the bus. See, that's, the that's the problem. That's the problem. You can't make this shit up. Women today have unrealistic expectations about men and what men are supposed to be doing for society and for the family and for themselves. Additionally, women don't realize that some of the men who look like they have the least, in fact, have the most, okay? It is very common that millionaires walk around with tattered clothing on. Why? Because they do not want to draw attention to themselves. Also, some of the, the least expected professions or career choices actually pay the most, such as plumbers, electricians, bus drivers, and not every brother who's dressed in a three-piece suit and a nice tie is going to have money. Look at Steve Harvey. This old celebrity figure is broke. Why? Because he has had three failed marriages. If I'm wrong, correct me, y'all. But I think Steve Harvey is in the game broke and he is being forced to work at his elderly age and what makes it very sad concerning steve harvey is that he is 66 years old and he is failing to recognize that the the world that these young men are living in right now are, is not the same as the world that he grew up in way back when and what is very sad concerning steve harvey is that he is 66 years of age and he's supposed to be speaking knowledge into young men as to how to appropriately and properly vet a woman if he wants to get married with his life but concerning that the marriage market right now is absolutely uh, horrendous, men are no longer choosing to marry. And the primary reason is this, Davis Bridal. Marriage is a horrible decision for men. And men are choosing to protect themselves and not get graped in the family court system, as you've seen that's happened with Tyrese, okay? And secondly, you got too many stupid sadiddy women in the market, such as what you saw with Ebony, I think her name is Ebony Williams, okay, whatever her name is, the black chick you saw talking about she will only date a bus driver if he owned the bus. It makes no sense. Modern day women are undesirable because they're extremely promiscuous, and modern day OGs in the game are setting young men up for failure. So the takeaway point from this, gentlemen, is this. Do not get married in the USA, all right? Just forget it. Right now, the, the family court system is not in your favor, okay? You will be setting yourself up for a financial suicide. And modern-day women, if y'all want to have a, a high-quality value man in your lives, you got to be better. You got to bring more quality to the table. And this is what your mom should have told you and your fathers. But we already know the father was put out the home and your mom was more than likely another slut. I'm out. Peace. Women is everything. They the cats me out. They the lick, man.